We have Andre Charland, who's going to uh, speak about Natobi's phone gap. Andre, you here? Welcome. Hey, thank you. <coughs> right. So, uh, my name is Andre Charland, and um, I'm going to talk to you today about a, a project for doing mobile phone development. It's called PhoneGap. Um, so my slide should be up there. So that's what it's called. Um, so Natobi is a, is a company I founded about 10 years ago, um, and we do all sorts of consulting services. But PhoneGap, we started last August, and um, well, why don't we just show you a little demo here quickly. So this is a game um, that's uh, on the iPhone. Um, it's in the App Store today. So it's a simple kind of block and column type game, and it uses the iPhone's accelerometer. Um, it's called Blockbuster, and it's um, for sale today, and it was built with PhoneGap. What's interesting about that is it was built with just HTML and JavaScript and uh, other web technologies. So if we could jump back to the slide here for a second, um, we can kind of look at the landscape we have today for mobile apps. There's a lot of hype today around the iPhone. You know, there's 25,000 apps, um, 500 million downloads, something like that. But uh, Windows Mobile is also relevant. Android's going to be on five or six devices next year. Um, Blackberry kind of has a stranglehold over the enterprise. Nokia, as we saw this morning, has a lion's share of the smartphone market. And then Palm Pre is launching later this year, and it's kind of a dark horse. But of course, these all have different stores also. So if we want to sell and distribute to them, we have to get on the stores. Um, and to do that, we need to write in all these different languages. So we have Objective-C, .NET, Java. Um, even the flavors of Java on Android and BlackBerry are totally different. Um, so PhoneGap kind of bridges this gap, and we write once. And the cool thing is we write in HTML and JavaScript. So we're using open web technologies and open standards to do this. Um, so what is PhoneGap? It's an HTML and JavaScript development framework. It's cross-platform. Uh, runs on iPhone and Android today. Um, it's uh, open source, MIT license. You can download the code today on GitHub or Google Code. Um, it has native API access. Um, so let's take a look at some demos here um, with uh, PhoneGap. So um, they've kind of zoomed out a bit here, but that's OK. Um, we can watch our accelerometer um, so you can see the numbers updating. We can make a call right from here, all from HTML and JavaScript. And the same thing will work um, also on the iPhone. Um, we can get our location. Um, so there's our lat long. Perfect. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's all pretty simple JavaScript code. If we look back at the slide here for a second, um, we can see our get location, um, latitude, longitude, and it's alerting it just as if we were building any other kind of web app. So there's over 50 apps in the App Store today that we know about. Of course, it's an open source project, so people just let us know when they've been submitted there. Um, uh, and if we jump back over here, I can show you an example of one. There's lots of games. Um, this particular one you can see here uh, is from TransLink. It's the Vancouver Transit Authority, and it gives me schedules um, for bus, uh, ferry, um, and train near where I am. Um, the iPhone 1 should load up slowly. So we're having some network issues. Um, Let's jump back over to the slides here, and we can talk a little bit about the developer community. We have um, the traffic in the mailing list in our Google group is doubling about every month. Uh, we're giving a lot of conference talks. We're speaking at OzCon later this year, JSConf, uh, Ajax. We've been covered in eWeek and InfoWorld. Um, so people are really um, jumping on board and, and starting to develop PhoneGap. Um, so what we're working on for the rest of the year is finishing platform support for Nokia and Palm, which are web native. Um, it's a bit more work to do BlackBerry and Windows, but we're uh, making progress there too. After that, we're going to work on a suite of tools. Um, Natobi, as a business, has a lot of experience building Dreamweaver and developer tools, uh, Clips Plugins, Visual Studio for Ajax Component Suite. Um, and we're actually going to be licensing these. So this is part of the, where we're going to make money. Um, once we've got the tools in place, we're going to be working on a cloud-based service. So from your emulator or IDE, um, once you've written HTML and JavaScript, you'll, your files will go up to our servers, and you'll get back builds for all the different platforms that you can then distribute to the stores. Um, you can also host your app there, so you have one URL that will take the device and send people around from there. Also, we'll have some more advanced testing um, features so you can make sure the APIs are working and um, other features like that. Um, so before we do that, let's... Uh, so one of the things we've released today is a, um, uh, an emulator. And the cool thing about this emulator is it'll help you build um, HTML and JavaScript applications with PhoneGap, but for multiple platforms. So we can see here it's Android. We have um, Bold. We have... Um, pre, so you can see what it'll look like in the different resolutions um, and adjust your HTML and CSS accordingly. Um, so we can, 
this, I can control it, and you can see the accelerometer is actually updating there, so you can test out things. Where this becomes relevant is if I was going to build, uh, let's say, a game, and I can start this, and I can control this by moving around the screen. Um, and so you can get a, a real sense without actually deploying to the phone. We have beep, um, vibrate, so it simulates vibrate. Um, we can also change our orientation um, so we can play around and see what the phone will look like. Um, so uh, PhoneGap is totally funded by Natobi today, and uh, you know we're building out the, the uh, suite of tools and the rest of the platform for the rest of the year. Um, we're based in Vancouver. We have 15 developers, and we've been in business for 10 years. Um, so get PhoneGap.com. You can download the, so the source code and start building iPhone and Android apps today. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Guys?